Okay, here we go. One of these two teams will be our champion. No pressure. Go Bulldogs! All right. I heard a go Bulldogs. What are these things up here? Oh, a badger. Yeah, a badger. What's that little guy called? Bucky. Bucky Badger. Lucky? Bucky. Bucky the Badger. Oh, Bucky the Badger. Okay. Badger. All right, here we go. Toss up question. Badger don't care. Okay, no more conferencing. <laughs> okay, toss up question number one. Attachment of muscle to the insect skeleton is not achieved by connective tissue, but what special secretions of epidermal cells? Lindo. Um, trichogen cells? That is incorrect. Georgia, uh, Alabama, or Abraham, excuse me. <laughs> Almost went Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. <laughs> Abraham. Tonal fibrils? That is correct, tonal fibrils. Good job, good job, Jerry. Okay, uh, bonus question for the University of Georgia. In Greek mythology, who turned Arachne into an arachnid? And that was Weldon. Athena, either for insulting the gods or for knitting better than she That's did. correct. Very good. <laughs> Toss up question number two. What does the tick-borne disease STARI stand for and what is its vector? That's S-T-A-R-I and what is its vector? Did I get it? Okay, McElrath. Uh, Lyme disease and uh, uh, exodus scapulars. Nope, that's incorrect. 10 seconds for the University of Wisconsin. Danielle's going to give it a try. Ehrlichiosis, the Lone Star tick? No. No. <laughs> Star I, S T A R I, stands for Nancy? Okay, for those that couldn't hear that, that was Southern Tick Associated Rash Illness. And the vector is the Lone Star Tick Amblyoma Americana. Thank you, Nancy. I knew she knew. I, I, she was just waiting for that question all night. Toss up question number three. What family was added to the Mantoidea in the seventh edition of Bohr and DeLong's Introduction to the Study of Insects, and how many species are currently recognized? That would be McElrath, University of Georgia. That would be Mantoidids and seven. And, and give me that family name again. Mantoididae? That's correct. I knew you knew it ended in I-D-A-E. I knew that. Okay. And seven species is correct. A bonus question for the University of Georgia. Who was the last president of the Cotton State Entomologist before the name of the organization was changed? And what was it changed to? Abraham, University of Georgia. It was changed to the southeastern branch, and the last president was uh, Arnett. No, that's incorrect. It was indeed changed to the southeastern branch of ESA, and the last president was Charles Lincoln. Charles A. Lincoln. Toss up question number four. What dispersion pattern is typically characterized by a variance to mean ratio of less than one? Well done. Okay, speak into the microphone and say that again. Uh, get close, get close. Non-random, um, centralized. Judges? Judges say that is incorrect response. University of Wisconsin, 10 seconds.
University of Wisconsin, Theru. Um, Speak into the microphone. It's going to be uh, uh, the dispersal pattern is long distance dispersal. It's characterized by long distance, dis single long distance dispersal events. I'm not hearing the correct response there either. Audience? Clumped or contagious? Yes, clumped or contagious. Toss up question number five, and I need a slide, please, sir. Are you ready? To what scientific family does this insect belong? Macarath. Membracidae? I knew you were going to get that. <laughs> he was ready even before I asked the question. All right. Toss up our bonus question for the University of uh, Georgia. Name one of two researchers who demonstrated that African sleeping sickness was vectored by the tsetse fly. And that would be Weldon. Manson. Manson. Who was the name? Uh, Patrick Manson. No. Audience, Nancy, you know this one? Okay. Bruce and Nabarro. David Bruce and D.N. Nabarro. Toss up question number six. What is the name of a chemical that is released by an individual of one species and affects the behavior of another species in a way that is favorable to the emitter but not the receiver? Danelle. Alamone. Is correct. Alamone. And a bonus question for the University of Wisconsin. Who published the first life histories of insects, including accounts of Lepidopteran metamorphosis? <laughs> hey, right with the buzzer there. Hernandez, yes. Darwin. That is incorrect. <laughs> audience? Aristotle. Aristotle. I don't hear any. Does, does the audience know the answer to that? No, I didn't hear anything. I heard crickets. John Ray is what I have here. John Ray. And I need that slide, please. Give it a second. There we go. Can you see that? You see that pretty good. Okay. Here's the question. Based on the egg gallery and subsequent larval feeding marks, What's the common name of this pest of elm? McElrath. Dutch elm bark beetle? No, that is incorrect. University of Wisconsin, you have 10 seconds. Wisconsin, Lindholm. Elm borer? Elm borer is also incorrect. Audience. Very good, Dr. Rebeck. Yes, give that man a cigar. You're the smaller European elm bark beetle. You taught me something after all these years, right? <laughs> okay, toss up question number eight. Resistance to DDT was first noted in what insect in Sweden in 1946? Oh, Abraham. George. Housefly. The housefly. That's correct. Woo! question for the University of Georgia. When lead arsenate was developed as an insecticide in 1892, it was developed for what insect? Abraham. Boll weevil. Which one? Boll weevil. Oh, the boll weevil, is that what you said, Jerry? Uh, no, that's incorrect. Audience. Crickets again. Okay, uh, gypsy moth is what I have here, gypsy moth. Toss up question number nine. These cells are the most numerous cells in the midgut and conduct most of the absorption of digested products and secretion of enzymes. Their name refers to the tall shape of the cells, but in some insects, more than one morphological type can be found. What is the name of these cells? Come from. Oh, Weldon. Uh, 
column cells? Judges? Ooh, they're in the conference. Do you want to add anything while they're in conference? <laughs> They're going to say yes, and I'm glad they said yes. I'm going to tell you why I'm glad they said yes, because the answer I have here is column nerve cells. But you know, on a multiple choice, you would have gotten that right, you know? Okay. But I know this is not multiple choice. This is more like fill in the blank. But they're going to give it to you. So the bonus question for the University of Georgia is, where would you find odorant binding proteins, OBP, and what is their proposed function? And that would be Walden. Uh, in the chemosensory cells of the antenna. And their function? Oh, uh, to uh, bind odorants and uh, detect, <laughs> uh, detect chemicals at low concentrations from long distances. They're in conference again. Just a second. They would like for you to repeat that answer. So get a little closer and say it nice and clear. Um, uh, in the, the olfactory scintilla of the antenna and uh, for the purposes of um, binding chemicals that are at low concentrations um, and are being detected at long distances from the source. The judges say that is correct. sensor lymph of the chemosensory sensilla of the insects. They're thought to bind to hydrophobic or odor molecules or odorants, as you said, and relay them to the chemoreceptor. Okay, toss up question number 10. What is the scientific name, I need the genus and species, of the sole aquatic member of the Columbulin family Poduridae? McElroy. Podura aquatica? He was right on that one again, too. Woo! Toss a, or a bonus question for the University of Georgia. The first extension entomologist was hired a year prior to passage of the Smith-Lever Act. Name the person and the institution, institution excuse me, with which he was associated. A, uh, Jerry, yeah, or Abraham. Tadeus Park in Idaho. What, say it again. Parks, Tadeus Parks in Idaho. That's correct. Toss-up question, we're at toss-up question number 11. When a mosquito bites a human, how many stylets penetrate the skin? Blount. Six. That's correct. <laughs> she was right on that one too, good job. Okay, a bonus question for the University of Georgia. Who was the author of entomological techniques? For one, fishing with natural insects, for the second. Uh, title and larvae of insects Roman numeral one and larvae of insects Roman numeral two And did I have a response? Oh the timer, okay Okay, McElrath uh, Cummins no, I know the audience knows this one. audience Peterson. Peterson yes Peterson Okay, toss-up question number 12. What is the thin, structureless membrane covering the ovarial referred to? Lindholm, Wisconsin. The ovary membrane? <laughs> kind of makes sense, but no, that's incorrect. Uh, George, you have 10 seconds. Abraham, Georgia. Corion? No, that's also incorrect. Audience. 
crickets again. Nothing. Okay. Uh, tunica propria is what I have here. Tunica propria. Toss up question number 13. The plural suture divides the thoracic pleura into two parts. Name the two regions. McElrath. The nudopleura and the sternopleura? That is incorrect. Wisconsin, 10 seconds. In just about now. Go <laughs> Wisconsin, they root. Into the microphone. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Are you going to give it a try, though? Yeah, I'll okay. try. Epiplura and um, the epiplura and the bottom plura. The <laughs> no. no, 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 that's an incorrect response. Audience. Epimeron and episternum. Epimeron and episternum. Toss-up question 14. In regards to migratory aphids, distinguish between funda, funda trigeni and alicin, alinea coli. Alinea coli. And funda trigeni. Uh, okay, well then. Uh, funda trigeni, um, uh, that's when a, a fundatrix is produced after sexual mating in the fundatrix then migrates to the new location and produces the new population. Um, in the other instance, uh, there is no sexual phase in the course of the aphids uh, year-long reproductive lifespan. <laughs> Judge, <laughs> judges, did you hear a correct response? No, they did not hear a correct response. University of Wisconsin, do you have a response? Ten seconds. Oh, Hernandez. The elephant thing is <laughs> are alates that disperse amongst their plant host and the fungal one, I'm sorry, is the when the, they move from plants that are close by but they are apteris. Did you hear the right response that time, judges? The judges say that is correct. Okay, a bonus question for the University of Wisconsin. What early entomologist, as a young man, served as a cook on several Great Lake ships? Any response, Wisconsin? Hernandez. Comstock. Comstock, which one? John is correct. John Henry Scott. Okay. Toss up question 15. What is the predominant form of lipid found in insects? Danelle. Triglyceride. Say it again. Triglyceride. That is incorrect. Well then. Diaglycerides? No. That is also incorrect. Audience. What I have here is triacylglycerol. Not triglycerol. It's not the same thing. Okay. Toss up question 16. Toss up question 16. Formosan termites often make aerial nests of chewed wood, saliva, and fecal material. What are this what are these materials most commonly called? Are collectively called. Hernandez. Mounds. That's incorrect. Abraham. Carton. Carton is correct. <laughs> and we have a champion, the University of Georgia. Congratulations. I will. I will. Uh, I will remind you, teams, to please, please stay present. There will be awards for first and second place. And also, I would remind the University of Georgia that you have an obligation to compete in the veterans game or the old masters game at the close of the final business meeting tomorrow night. <laughs>